In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add your Hostinger email to Gmail. So it just makes everything easier for you to check your emails. So you don't have to log into the Hostinger email platform. You can just do it all on Gmail. So what you want to do is go to Hostinger, log into your account, and then head over to the email section. Now you should already have your email set up. If you haven't, I'll leave a video on screen, which will show you how to do that. Because I've got my email set up here, I'm going to go to manage, and then that will take us to the dashboard where we want to then go to connect apps and devices on the left here. Yeah. Once you're here, it's then going to give you some ways to configure that email with Gmail. So now what we need to do is go ahead and go to Gmail, go to the settings cog in the top right hand corner, then go to see all settings. What you need to do then is go to accounts and import, and then you need to click here, add another email address. So go ahead and click here, and then it's going to ask you for your email address. So my email address is bradley at knowledgebaseonline.com. So this is the email address that I registered here through uh, Hostinger. So I'm going to go ahead and enter that. Okay, so we'll go to the next step. Now it's going to ask you for an SMTP server, your username and your password. So we're going to copy that information from Hostinger. So you can see here the SMTP server is going to be this. So we'll copy this. Also remember the port is 465. So now we need to open up this window again from Gmail and we need to paste in the SMTP server and the port is 465. Now for the username, you want to enter in your email again. So I'm going to type in Bradley at knowledge base online.com and then we'll enter in the password again of that email and they should all have been set up with hosting or anyway the username and password so once you've done that click add account and there you go that's gone through so now what we need to do is confirm that we own this email address now to do this we're going to have to go to hostinger and we then need to go to the back end of our email so yeah go to email accounts and in the back end of your email you should be able to go to webmail so click on webmail it will then take you into your actual hostinger email and you can open open this email from Gmail and click on this confirmation link and then click confirm. And this is basically just confirming that you do own this email. So now you can see that that has been confirmed successfully. So now we're going to go back to our email. We're going to go to the settings in the top right and then back to see all settings. Here we can then go to account and import. And here you should see your email here. Bradley at knowledgebaseonline.com is obviously the one I've just added. Now we need to go to check emails from other accounts. So click here, add an email account and then enter in that email and it's auto filled it for me. Then we can click next. So now we're going to leave it on the default one, which is import emails from other account. We'll click next. And now it's going to ask us for more information. So this is fairly straightforward. In your username, you just want to type out your whole, whole email again. So Bradley at knowledgebaseonline.com. Password, you've already typed that in a million times already. So type it in again. Then we need to go ahead and enter in the pop server. So if you go back to Hostinger, you then go back to connect apps and devices. Here it's going to tell you the incoming server, which is the pop server. We want to copy this and also copy the port 995. So we'll open up this little window from Gmail again, pop server, paste that in, and the port is going to be 995. And I'm also going to check this box, which labels incoming messages. I'm also going to check this here, use a secure connection. And once you've done that, that should go through fine. So now we have to do one more thing. We need to go back to our email and you should have an email here from the Gmail team. What you can do is you can just go ahead and confirm this by clicking on this link and then confirm this email once again. So now heading back into settings and see all settings. If you go to accounts and import, you can see here, it's going to check for emails that come through into bradley at knowledgebaseonline.com and it's going to send them to your email address on Gmail. You're also gonna be able to send mail as your email from Hostinger as well. So if I was to compose a message, I can send it from uh, my Hostinger email here. So that's pretty much it. Now when we get an email into our Hostinger email, we're going to also get it appearing in Gmail because we've got it set up here. You can see it's last checked zero minutes ago. That's all you have to do. I hope that video did help you out.